My son asked me to help him tie his necktie the other day, and so I showed him how to tie it the way my dad taught me. And I got to thinking afterward, there, there should be a name for the way we tie this. So, And I, I think I've done this in the past. I went online to try to find out what it's called, and I found out that it's very similar to the half Windsor knot, but it's not the same because the half Windsor starts by going forward, by taking the fat end of the, of the tie forward across the skinny end, and then ends up going backwards across the skinny end. So it reverses direction kind of halfway through, but we don't reverse direction. And so I'm gonna tie the half Windsor, then I'll tie the unidirectional half Windsor or the Haas knot, and we'll compare them. Um, the half Windsor goes forward across the front, then around the back all the way to the front again, and then into the neck. Forward across the front, all the way around the back, and then into the neck. Then it changes direction, and it goes backward across the front and then out the neck, and then you tuck it in. And I use my thumb to cinch it up. Okay, now that's a pretty good knot. I've read that it's symmetrical. I may not be finagling it right. I may not be giving it a fair shake. But to me, it didn't seem quite symmetrical. And I recall this from my younger days. It didn't quite seem symmetrical, but uh, again, that's probably me not giving it a chance. Um, but when I take out the tail, I noticed that it doesn't untie, which I happen to know that R naught does. So I'm going to show R naught. It's just like the half Windsor. You start by taking the fat end forward across the skinny end, all the way around and into the neck. Just like the half Windsor. Now, instead of changing direction and pulling this thing across, I'm going to continue the same direction and push it across the front again. Then I'm going to come out the neck and tuck it. So it's similar. But I don't change directions. Now, I cinch it up with my thumb. And here's the, the result. And I, I, I always thought it was more symmetrical, even though it seems wrong when you're tying it. Now, when I pull out the skinny part, this one just, the knot goes away, which is decidedly cool. So, am I reading the half Windsor wrong? Is ours really the half Windsor? Or is ours an upgrade on the half Windsor? You decide. You tell me which it is. Now, that's the end of the video. You can like and subscribe if you want. I'm just going to be tying these again a few times. So here we go. Here's the half Windsor. Across the fatty across the skinny, all the way around, and in the neck. Then reverse direction, and take the fatty back across the skinny, out of the neck, and tuck. This is the half Windsor, a reverse direction. Cinch it up with my little old thumb here. And that's the half Windsor. To me, eh, it doesn't, it's got an awful lot going on here. I take it apart. That's not all I gotta do. I gotta really take it apart. Okay, that's the half Windsor.
Now here's the unidirectional half Windsor or the Haas knot. We go forward, take the fatty, forward across the skinny, all the way around, and in the neck. Now we keep going the same direction. Got it in the neck. Now we keep going the same direction, forward across the skinny, out the neck, and tuck. Now last time I, I had the Windsor too much on the fat part, this time I have the Uni Windsor, the Haas knot, too, too much on the fat part. But still, the Haas looks pretty symmetrical compared to the Windsor, I think. Uh, anyway. You pull it apart, and it's apart. Last time, we're going to do the Windsor. We got fat end and skinny end. The fat end goes forward across the skinny end. I'm going to give, get myself on the worn part of the top. Forward part goes, the, the fat part goes forward across the skinny part, and all the way around and into the neck. Then it reverses direction, and it comes backward across the front, and out of the neck, and tuck. Tuck, 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 tuck in, tuck in, tuck in, and my little thumb action. Cinch, cinch, cinch. Okay, that's the half Windsor. Pull it apart. I'm not faking. That's that's a knot. That's an overhand knot. At least one, one, one. Might be, you know, some figure eight or whatever stuff. Okay. And here's the unidirectional half Windsor or the Haas knot. It goes forward. Mr. Fat goes forward across Mr. Skinny. Oh, I got things twisted up. Mr. Fat goes forward across Mr. Skinny. All the way around and in the neck. Then Mr. Fat goes forward across Mr. Skinny one more time, out the neck, and tuck. I hope I didn't twist everything up. Feels pretty good. Stick my thumb in. Something doesn't feel right. Stick my thumb in. Yeah, looks good. I got into the really worn part of that tie. <laughs> it's looking kind of skinny. Yeah, it might hang a little low. Okay, and that's the mod uh, the unidirectional uh, Windsor, half Windsor. And I pull it out, and it comes apart. Boom! All right, that's the end. Like and subscribe if you want, and let me know what you think is going on.